So, here we are, walking the beat again. And the let's play of Yoho Extraterrestrials. We just downed our little chaser here, and we're now on a different round. And let's see where we can get ourselves today. Let's go up here and organize ourselves effectively and uniformly. And try not to get ourselves ambushed because, well, we know where they are. And knowing where they are is half the battle. Oh, yeah. I am such a old school. It's not funny. All right. Well, apparently he has come across me here. He thinks he's all that. But um, as I've mentioned, I'll try to use my grenades a little bit less than I have been to try and save more money. Let's see, 25 or 19. I don't have a line of fire on him, actually. Uh, 25 or 19. That would be... Oh, oh, well, I found a second man. All right, well. His shooting is actually not that bad. Um, 25 or 19. I can go up here. It's kind of... I mean, 25 action points for a snipe is actually pretty cheap. Um... 30%, 33%, uh, oh, it's not 19 anymore, and it's 26, hmm, so, let's move up about, I don't know, 15 or so uh, action points worth, uh, watch me just get sniped, okay, here we go, here we go, and you're more threatening, obviously, so, let's see if 43% is enough to kill this thing. And it is in the first shot, so we'll just have to suffer this out for a while. And I'm sorry my energy levels were, were kind of lacking. I'm still sick, I still have a very bad sore throat, but I took some throat candy, and my throat's a little numb right now, so I can continue to do this for about, you know, 15 minutes, and then I'll have to relax. Let's see, 39 and 29. I'll have to chill for a bit. Let's see if I can grab this guy. 50% for each shot. And he hits them once and twice. And that's usually enough to kill those chasers. There's a guy up here. So let's organize. Rocket launcher. You know you need more experience because you're just level two at the moment. So you've had one level increase. It's one thing I notice about levels. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm level six, but you've only had five level increases, so five level improvements only. It's, um, I just think about that stuff, and there's Gimp Man way the hell over there, because he had to run his happy ass at the beginning. If you missed that, check the last video. He just took off for no apparent reason at all. And that was really frustrating. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Yes! That's why reactions are good with AP. I'm happier. Let's check. Let us, let us check our aliens. We only have a few left. So, uh, but the trees are going to get in the way a lot. So, I know you're here. 54 action points, and 39 to 29. Okay. Um, I should probably try to snipe you at 63%, because sometimes it's enough to just kill you in one shot. And oh my god. Oh, it worked. I, I honestly thought I missed him. But that was 52 damage, and he ate it. He totally ate it, and I feel better about myself. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just bunch all up here, because the only enemies left are the ones over here. So I'm not too worried. Let's see what we can get ourselves into. What's that guy doing way over there? You saw him. He's like just like scouting for no reason. You don't need to do that. I have the scanner, and we have two left. So we're good to go. We, we're good. So, Chaser, you are chasing. You moved, so I hope that was your all your AP. And it was, unless you're saving it for, you know, reactionary fire. Let's see, the missile's cheaper than a grenade, and I have line of sight on you for 48%, 65%. I could probably hit you. Yes, yes I can. And it's fun. It really is. It's nice to use this. It's just, again, it blows my mind that the missiles are cheaper than a grenade. 
If any of you are into weapons manufacturing, let me know if that's the case. Let me, let me know if it actually is cheaper to make a short range RPG um, than it is to make a grenade, a pineapple grenade or something, which are so obsolete they're not funny. But um, let's see. You know, if I walked all the way up to him, it would be 64 AP, and I totally can stun him because it's going to be fun. <laughs> That's so much fun. I, I just get a kick out of doing that when, I, when I'm able to. Come on, it's melee for God's sakes. Okay, um, that's all the enemies. And I don't think any of us are wounded. So, nope. So, I can quit. And I still have six minutes left on this Let's Play. And no one's wounded. Alright. 60,000. I thought there were seven. Did I miscount? Obviously I did. You have captured one non-commander alive. Well, yes, I have. Let's see here. I've agreed that shooting's a lot more important to me than anything else, but to be honest, oh, he's got four more ranks, so he's really close to agility and vitality. Maxes, so... I mean, that's 90 points right there. You really need those action points. And health, so I'll just funnel some more into shooting. And... Again, you're a lot closer because you started with more. And put you at 61. I'll probably try my very best. Strength at, at 54 or 58 will let you hold like 110 or 15 pounds of weight, which is a good chunk for the later weapons. Especially for the heavy ion gun and stuff. And the um, particle guns. So I'll probably need a little bit more strength for that later. But I actually have beaten the game with only a capacity of 88 pounds. And so I'm not too terribly worried about that. Just having enough strength to hold what I want is enough. So as you can see it's all pretty much standard right now and you're just level two so you're definitely someone who needs that. So we'll just go up and you're throwing. Kicks ass. So Janicia Tredge, I haven't renamed you yet but I'm going to Amazon because we all remember what she did. Oh yes. Get her back to base. I have to rename her. And this is a must. I, just, I can't forget this anymore. And oh, oh, oh crap. Um, this is halfway not good and halfway good. This A commander could lie on this ship. And it's not really over land. So let's see where it's going. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, Thermos can't even get to him. I'm pretty sure Thermos cannot reach that far uh, in the interceptor. His fuel will run out before he's ever effective. So let's wait a little bit. Let's see him go over land a little bit. And yes, and now I will intercept. Oops. I don't think these two will be enough. But I don't, like I said, I don't think Thermos is going to get there with enough fuel. But um, he's definitely going to get enough time. But let's speed this up and find out. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be a puss. And stay over land. Stay over land. I really could use you. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Be a little putz. That's it. Yes. Yes! Interception time. But let's go to base first because I have to rename her. It's a, par it's a necessity. So let's go to troops. And Janita, I have to rename you. See, now you, can, you can't do that during combat for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe there's, maybe the programmers just didn't think you'd want to do that in the middle of combat. But um, Amazon, Greek Amazon, she has one tit, no. Um, anyway, I'll rename her anyone, any female viewer I ever get. Who, or if, or you could be a gay viewer who wants to be feminine. I'll do that too because she has that boyish hair. You know, I'm just, I'll work with you guys. Um... I'll flirt with you no matter what, because it's a chick. And even if you're a dude, it's online chick. And, like, they're all generic anyway. You, it's like, look at this. This face never changes, so... I think everyone's androgynous in this world. These avatars are just, like, pasted on. <laughs> I'm overanalyzing this. I need to stop. Yes. I have a full regiment now, so I'm good to go. Um, do I have any more pawns I need to fire? Yes, I do. And they're taking up salary. So I have two more pawns. I don't really have the men to replace them, but I don't care. I have decided that it's not worth the effort to keep them on um, totally for the sole purpose of, of ditching them and they're taking up salary and, I'm, and they're not useful to me so probably gonna regret this a little bit later like I don't have any troops and I could have used a pawn but he's only level one anyway and 
and um, I need to save the money, so you're totally fired. And sorry, it's like in the hospital again. Did we just dump them out? Just you got four days left, but I'm not gonna pay your salary for the next four days. Actually, they say they have a monthly fee of forty grand, and in the military, it does cost a lot to house troops. And I don't know what the monetary value is. I don't think it's forty grand a month. And that includes salary, of course. I don't think that's, that it was worth that. But it's a lot more than what they pay you. So fire, fire soldier. Yes, I'm going to fire you. And I don't think I'm holding on to... Nope, no more pawns. I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got 14. Um, off and on, that could be good. Especially with the alien scanner. I don't expect to get hurt as much. And... I have one med kit that I could probably outfit. I'm probably building more med kits. Yeah, I've got two units. Uh, 14 grand is not a lot of money, though, so... I have alien artifacts. Eight alien artifacts for 206. It's armor. You get a lot of armor, and it's not bad to get that. And the flight control systems... This is why I'm researching this tech tree the way I'm doing it. And I'll keep that med kit around now that I... My soldiers need them. I need that advanced med kit. Of course, the next research up is going to give me surgery and I need surgery. Less time in, in medical is more time fighting, so... And that research, in order to get surgery, is... Um, let's see... Where is it? A alien birth. When you research alien birth, you get surgery, and that is paramount. And this video is over for now. I will see you later.